Welcome to my channel. Before I'm going to start my video, as always, uh, let's ask for support from creator. Then uh, we're going to create this seed with this very special prayer, the prayer from uh, Sephel Toldot of Adam, uh, the book of Adam. And we're going to start with very, very special prayer to create proper opening and to get blessings from it. And uh, you can see I put Torah on top of the Etzachayim, the tree of life, because in this prayer, the Etzachayim is re referred to Torah. So let's begin. Etzachayim, hili magzikim ba, v'tamcheya ma'ashar, dorcheya, dorchei noam, v'chal nativatea shalom, migdal, az shem Adonai, bo yarutz, tzadik v'nizgav. Shizeu tzadik, dihayin yisod ezranpin, shiratz migdal david, migdalot v'gdalot. ועל ידה הוא עושה תולדות, וכל הזוכה להסתכל בו ידע בו חוכמה עליונה, וזוכה שלא תשכח חוכמה ממנו, וידע את ריבונו. And here you just can, uh, can um, scan with your beautiful eyes the combination of three letters, which is in himself connected to different level of angels, and this is the secret of Book of Adam, and we're going to complete complete with last sentence prayer ki bi yarbu yamecha wa yasifu lecha shnot chayim hi everyone esther here and uh, happy father's day i'm making this video on sunday and as well a happy new moon upcoming new moon rosh chodesh tov we say in hebrew the new moon actually we're going to have this coming monday night uh, in hebrew calendar in the moon calendar it's going to be in there cancer but really in the sky and the sun calendar it's actually the new moon going to be in gemini i know it maybe sounds a little bit confusing for some of you who actually follow hebrew in the kabbalistic calendar but you shouldn't be confused because it's very easy explanation the sun solar calendar contain days one each every other month we have 30 or 31 days in the lunar calendar we only have a 29 days this is why Every four years, we celebrate two Pisces. So just kind of for you guys, the a very quick explanation. Now, I just put the sky uh, today and Sunday just for us to go over and see what's really happening this week, how we can prepare for this upcoming week, uh, what kind of energy will influence us from the sky or perhaps in, instead for us to be influenced by cosmic energy. We know how to work together in uh, harmony with the stars and what's really happening, why certain combination, the universe uh, really sending us over into this limited reality dimension. What's really important to notice what's going to happen with the moon while we're going to have some changes with uh, um, our beautiful and sometimes unpredictable Mercury. He's going to change the sign from Cancer, and he's going to go to uh, Gem. Sorry, he's going to come from Taurus, and he's going to Gemini. It's going to be very, very important events in a few days. I'm going to show you. And as well, what's really happening with uh, Venus and um, Mars? You can see they actually join each other almost in the conjunction, and it's we definitely feel on the personal level especially those of us who have, uh, more, uh, you know, Mars or Venus debilitated in the chart. So we feel a little bit uh, weak energy because those two, when they together, they they contradict in, with the energy wise each other. Okay. So let's go over right now and see what's happening. So Sunday, we have a moon uh, preparing to, you know, to she's completely losing her light. Look how closer to the sun. And when she's going to be new moon uh, tomorrow night, um, we're going to have still in Gemini. So let's move to tomorrow, uh, which is uh, Monday, Monday, June 19. Okay, it's always uh, just to remind you, I do not practice Western astrology. It's a sidereal astrology calculation, direct sky and uh, fixed signs as well. So we can see in some combination what kind of royal stars um, it's going to over, which is they themselves uh, provide a lot of information. And especially in your personal chart, if you do have in your personal chart important ch uh, important stars, all of us have, we really need to take them into consideration because in some 
charts, they actually taken over the whole sign and the more important the sign himself. Okay, so we look in the chart right now on Monday, June 19th. And in the Hebrew calendar, it's going to be uh, Sivan, uh, 30th of Sivan, which is the last day of Gemini. You can see uh, moon in 20, uh, 22 degrees. She's uh, basically touching star of Castor, extremely important, one of the most important royal stars. And it's not far from Cyrus. Very, very powerful new moon this new moon can provide us a lot of divine inspiration a lot of understanding and if we really know how to separate illusion from reality and to understand really what messages uh, you know from social media from government from so many directions giving us we need to know how to stay focused how not to let so much information to create confusion and uncertainty and do our best, you know, when you follow in the rules of uh, creation, when you're doing your best and you work on your soul progress and on the, um, the time it was given to you in this dimension, everything else, it's become secondary and you understand the illusion coming around you. So it's really, really important. Now, what we have, what else we have here? We need to understand uh, the uh, Mercury, He's preparing his retrogression and moving from Taurus to Gemini. It's really, really important this upcoming week. Week, And uh, Monday, it's, um, you know, it's actually uh, considered a positive day, especially because of the new moon. It's a really, really good day to put in writing. Uh, what is your plans for upcoming months? What is the plans, how you want to use this month uh, to attract more... Um, positive energy and more blessings and it really comes from the place the seat if you have a zora at home if you have a spiritual books this is really important even tonight to study to prepare for the new moon and to light the candles for tzaddikim and light candle in general when you do special meditation for the new moon it's really recommended to light candle for any righteous soul you connect to and ask for support very very important let's go the next day we're going to June 20th, and it's Tuesday. And what's really, really important uh, to notice here, what's going to happen with Moon? Moon uh, already inside of sign of Cancer, in the beginning of sign of Cancer, and she's entering to the house, which is the very important to, um, you know, the planets of Venus and Mars, it's very personal planets. It's not like, for example, we have Neptune or we have Uranus or even uh, Saturn and Jupiter. They don't necessarily describe the character of our of our chart, but Venus and Mars directly explain our a characteristic of ourselves. So Venus represent how we deal on a personal level, what is really personal connection we have with other people, uh, personal relationship at work with other people outside, our family. She really, really shows how easy or how hard we need to go through a different uh, realization in order for us uh, to become better human being. And what about Mars? Mars represent our active energy. It represent our physical body. If there's any illnesses potentially can come, we can see according to the Mars in our chart. And of course, it depends what other stars you have, what other planets you have beside the Mars, in what location, a lot of love. So now when they're together, those two bodies, which is represent male and female energy. But again, in ancient astrology, the male actually represents Jupiter in woman's chart. Okay, let's keep this in mind. But it still represents the male energy as an energetical force. And each of us, we do have male and female inside of us. So those two bodies, so now they're together. And Mars already, even though he's in Cancer, he actually slowly start to touch a direct sky Leo. So he's already getting to the conflicted energy. We always really need to remember it's much harder energy when it comes from water to fire or from fire to water because it's like a short circuit, right, without filament between. So it's really important to note that. So therefore, what's happening right now in the world, Irene, it's very war-wide energy. And Venus, she's really trying to accompany us while she's in cancer. She loves to be in cancer because she's very nourish nourishing in cancer, very loving. Because cancer is the sign, you know, it's a social worker of the universe. They really care about everything and everyone. 
And especially if you have a Venus in Cancer, you know what I'm talking about. It's such a giver, such a care. So you have to be careful when to give and when to share. Another concept. Now, Moon is going to create here a little bit more emotional party. So for the next few days, let's go to June 21st which is the moon getting really closer to Venus. And uh, she's going to be here for, you know, a few days. So if you have a uh, moon in Cancer, and uh, or you have actually a moon in uh, Capricorn, you're going to feel it as well in a position, especially you have a Pluto. And we, for this next couple of days, um, starting with the new moon, we need to really pay attention to our emotions and not to create beyond it's already, you know, uh, the drama in the world arena or even at home. Just make sure you really uh, stay focused, meditate, don't talk too much because this is another thing can save you energy because the words has tremendous power. And uh, trust me, if the uh, creator through the uh, righteous souls, through all the righteous books we have, Always give us a recommendation. Always be wise what words you choose, how the words going to affect uh, people around you, what energies it create for yourself and to people who are around you. As less we speak and speak only what really needs to be said and most connect to beauty, the whole world will have completely different outcome. This is what we need to really keep in mind. Now, it's really important uh, happening on June 21st. The sun will be Quincon's uh, Pluto. So Pluto, and what we have, we have a Pluto uh, in uh, Capricorn, and we have a sun in Gemini. And they're going to have a special quinces, and um, we have to be careful not to be influenced too much by... Um, conspiracy theories in uh, social media because Pluto queens the sun. This is going to be on the on the higher arena. It's going to be provide for a, a lot of information, and people really. I can see my students and friends. People really live right now according to what's happening really in the world arena. It's important for us to definitely to check in and to understand what's happening, but again to understand how this energy influences us. And how much we can influence for better what's happening in the world. And each of us have our own place in the world. Um, if you feel you're receiving a lot of spirituality information, this is amazing. You have opportunity to share on your daily life. Anything you do, you go into the store, uh, you interact with somebody, not just smile. See if you when you're going to start conversation, how this your conversation can bring more spirituality. Uh, when you interact with your children, when you interact with your animals, everything, just make sure you you bring the best of yourself instead to edit more, so to say, war energy. It's already right now in the sky. We have enough. Okay, so uh, this is really important. Um, and again, we can see Mercury. He's uh, preparing slowly to move to Gemini. So this is actually, I love when the Mercury moved from Taurus to Gemini. We we kind of almost like a feel everything what we work hard on the Taurus. When it's going to Gemini, we're going to see more outcome on the physical level what we did with Taurus because Taurus, it's all about practicality, all about subs, you know, substance, substance, substance stuff. It's about sustenance. It's about the taste of life, the self-worth. And now we're getting to Gemini. We're going to celebrate everything what we learn and we, so to say, put seeds in the ground for in a Taurus. So I like this. Uh, you know, Mercury in Gemini, especially he's in all, in his own sign. The only thing just to restrict what comes from your mouth and again about the yellow press, right? This is what really um, Mercury can do in Gemini. And amazing writing, amazing, amazing writing uh, skills can uh, in awaken in a lot of people always when um, Mercury in Gemini. What else I want us to tell you? So the moon is extremely important. Let go further. further uh, let's go to June 22nd. And we get into um, uh, Thursday. Yes, we're already in Thursday, June twenty second, and Moon uh, enter entering. Even though she's still in House of Cancer, she's fully in twenty eight degree, and she's touching Mouse of uh, Leo. And she just she's still interacting with uh, Mars. This is combination 
I recommend for all of us guys for these days when you have a moment just to pause and do meditation and try to send the energy to the creation as less as possible conflicts between nations and especially on emotional level because this is the combination can create a short circuit in the moment even for ourselves on the daily life again because moon touching mouth of leo and she's really really close on uh, mars and as well this is the degree which is belongs to saturn 20 degree in uh, cancer this is the degree which is connected to saturn so saturn definitely gonna watch us big time and before moon enter completely to leo it's going to be in a position with saturn okay so it's going to be a little bit heavy energy it's possible but again now then we know we're going to bring simcha what is the simcha what is the happiness happiness for no reason this is the whole thing it's about how we transform at the moment when we feel like nefila when we feel we're falling and this is the moment we stop we we connect we pause we observe what's happened and we pick in ourselves and we transform energy from heaviness transform to happiness there's so many tools for it you know we discuss and if you study spirituality just just use it use it use it the tools okay because the energy wise it's going to be a little bit on the heavy side and we need to pray that nothing uh crazy can happen in the world especially on the uh, east europe side as well and as well in israel we need to pray for both continents israel uh persia iran uh ukraine russia those two right now really really important polarities which is both extremely important uh for the final redemption uh let's go further let's go to friday and friday we're going to have june 23rd and what we have in june 23rd of course move uh, moon she moved to leo and um what's happened when moon you know she's uh, she's gained her new light which is good right it's not uh, you know waving moon it's the moon which is coming and getting her new light and because it's the friday and it's preparation for shabbat this moon it's actually a very noble moon and she's touching like a heart of leo and what moon represent in cancer it's represent stomach the justice system the guts gut gut feeling but as well i always remind you according to ancient not just leo represent heart leo represent the shape of the heart but the smashy part the inside it's actually uh, energy of cancer. It's the moon. You understand? So it's really important. So we kind of can connect to the energy of double heart. Think about it. And we enter into the time when we're going to study Torah and connecting to the Torah, which is start with the bed and finish with Lamed. And those letters together, combination, create word Lev, which is a heart in Hebrew. Okay? Very important. So we're very lucky. Creator provide us you know it says then the, the chiva the redemption was created before falling before we making our mistakes so we definitely been taken care of we just need to know how to ask for help how to be open for help and then we can have completely different life experience right now what will happen on friday and june 23rd we have a kettle trying sun and it's very important because you know um the world leadership we're gonna everything connected to the sun is the uh, leadership now keto keto it's connect to our past life right so all of us because of the this uh, specifically degree i'm going to show you you see we have a keto and we have a sun and this is a very special connection communication we almost will be required to to dig inside of our memory about our past even our past lives you know our, uh, my teacher Ralph uh, Burke and all the Kabbalists the overseas in order for us to understand ourselves now we need to come back for, to our past and to understand where we came from what lessons we brought with us what we need to learn and there's uh, so many tools to understand this including to understand your personal birth chart right from the eyes of Kabbalists so it's really important day as well the sun will give us a lot of reflection especially with the kettle with north node and check in your chart what do you have in the six or seven degrees in Gemini and in Libra 
for you it's going to be very very big lessons something you can actually transform uh, whatever you brought from the past lives okay really really important uh, let's go to filter we're going to shabbat we're going to saturday june 24th the moon is still in leo and um, just to pay attention about your emotions, how much you express yourself and how you would like to make your point. But Shabbat covering everything. It's one, it's, we have a different set of angels coming to Shabbat, different support. There's a lot of blessings. So let's use this information, okay? And again, um, we see uh, what we have here. We have a lunar notes, which is, I want to remind us, you know, uh, they're both in a place of relationship. Very, very important. And with the Jupiter, Ju it's a beautiful Jupiter in Aries. He's given us a lot of divine. But don't forget, Rahu will stay with Jupiter until we change sign, until end of the October. So Rahu um, bring here, you know, different energy. So it's, it's important, very important time. And as well, remember, we have a Saturn. Saturn already uh, on 17, he started his retrogression. He already in, he's moving forward and he's going to change, um, he's going to change his degrees in a couple of weeks. I made special video only on Saturn. It's extremely important. So definitely check if you have anything in Aquarius between uh, six de degree to 13 degree. It's very, very karmic period of time for you guys, okay? And we're going to Sunday very quickly just to see what's what's going to happen on Sunday because Sunday is the day of sun. And if you have, for example, in your chart, uh, one of the strongest uh, planets in your chart, it's sun. And, you know, you if you know your chart, you each of us have a specific planet which is take a superior of the whole chart. Beside your rising, which is uh, represent the Lord of the chart. For example, here we have rising in uh, Virgo. So therefore, the whole chart, the, uh, the uh, really the Lord of the whole chart, the main planet will be Mercury. But beside that, we have another, uh, we can have another uh, very important planet, which is the highest in the sky and as well the strongest energy. So if, for example, you have a sun, for those people, I always recommend to wake up early on Sunday, literally before eight o'clock, go outside and see the sun. You can see the sun. And if you do, just open your chakras of your neck chakra and let it sun, this fresh young sun uh, to really uh, penetrate inside of your, uh, to your scalp and inside of your spine. And by the way, you don't need to have just sun, a strong sun, anyone can do that. It's really recommend for everyone, but especially if uh, sun is your planet, you get a lot of a lot of support. And what else we have here? We have uh, moon enter Virgo. She's good in Virgo. You know, it's really excellent, especially for Sunday. It's the best to clean up your house, to take care of your uh, backyard, to take care of your family. It's an excellent, excellent combination. Okay, guys. Um, Thank you so much for your time. I'm going to make a completely separate video on our beautiful Mercury because there's a couple of things we need to understand about this particularly uh, Mercury enter in Gemini. There's a lot of good stuff there. So I, I want us to have this information in order to benefit even more. Okay, wish you a wonderful week. Shavuot Tov, Chodesh Tov, and many, many blessings. Many, many blessings. Bye-bye.